First, you're going to need to go to the MetaQuest app on your phone, click on the search button, search for Beat Saber. Click on Beat Saber. Scroll down to more information. Click on the upwards arrow, scroll down, click on the version 1.35, click on the channel live, and then click on legacy version 1.29 Unity. All right, so we're gonna go to the Meta browser, and then we're gonna go to Google. Then we're gonna type in side quest. We are. Click on get side quest. Click on search again. So we gotta sign in first. We're gonna sign in. Or <laughs> log in side quest. We're gonna go up here, type in side quest. Download this app. We should get a little prompt. Click on SideQuest. Scroll down a bit. Click on Download APK directly. Take this to this site. Click on app apk You'll see the prompt there. We'll close out of SideQuest. Open the app library. Go to Mobile VR station. Click allow. Local files. Go to all folders. Go to Android. Go to data. Go to scope storage actions. Go to request access. Uh, click on quest three. Go to download. There it is there. Click on the quad arrow. Click continue. Click install. Click done. Click close. Mobile VR station will crash. Go to library, go to installed. If it doesn't work immediately, just close the app library and open. Go to unknown sources, click on side quest. Drag this over to another window. Open your browser. Go to the SDQ dot st slash link Ooh. you click on sign in right there bring us to this code i don't know why entry that the url didn't take us to this page but it there you go just click on sign in eight two two four six two click link now reconnected Go ahead and close the meta browser. Go to your left. Click allow on allow permissions. Go to go to the magnifying glass. Type in quest app version switcher. Click accept all. Click on siloed. It's not downloading. On settings, click the window behind, allow from the source, go on back, click install. Close that side quest, go to the library, go to quest app version switcher, toggle it on, go one step backwards. Go 
quick start. So you'd say the 1.29, downgrade to 1.28, click downgrade. The file is now downgrade or downloading for 1.28. Wait up to five minutes for the diff patch to be applied to the current APK. Click on my game. It's currently preparing the mod. Click install the game, click start uninstall, click OK, click continue, click install app, go to settings, click the window behind that prompt, toggle allow open source on, go on back, click on grant taxes, click on install app. Click install. Click grant taxes. Go to quest. Wait. Click use this folder. Allow. Use this folder. Allow. Click on grant taxes. Should be say 1.28. Cl click on allow access to manage all files. Go one back, click continue, click close. Now open Chrome on your PC and go to github.com slash Lori the fish slash quest patcher slash releases slash tag slash 2.7.3. A link will be included in the description of this video. Click on Quest Patcher Windows.exe and install it. Going to your Quest app on your phone. For this demonstration, I'll be using an iPhone. First thing you need to do is make sure that your Quest 2 headset is turned on and linked to your side quest. Next, you'll click on Headset Settings and then click on developer mode. If developer mode is not turned on, you will then click on the get started button. The app will then link you to the developer sign up page. First step is to click on the create an organization or company. This can be whatever name you want. In my case, I will be uh, naming mine Bearski Gaming. Once you have entered, click the I understand uh, checkbox, uh, scroll to the right and click submit and then sign the non-disclosure agreement and click I agree. Next, you would go back into the Quest app, click the get started again. It'll take you back to this page. We already have our organization created. So next we will go down to verify your account.
from here since we already verified Quest account. We just had to click sign in and we're good to go. Next, we go back into the Quest app. Refresh the developer settings page by pressing go back and back into developer mode and turn the toggle on. Next, you want to make sure that you have a USB to USB-C cable. You can tell it's a USB-C because the smaller end will look exactly the same as your char charging plug for your Quest 2. If your PC has a data port for USB-C, -C, then you do not need to go purchase one. Here we have a USB-C on the left, HDMI, and then two USB ports. Plug the USB side into your computer, then plug the USB-C and into your Quest 2. Be sure to look into your headset and click allow for access files. Open Quest Patcher. Click on Tools and Options. Click on Quick Fix. Click on Repatch App. Now go to the mod management and await core mods to install. And you are done. You successfully installed mods on your Quest 3 for Beat Saber. If you have any questions, please ask below. And I'll get to answer them as soon as I can. Have a great one, everyone.